Sometimes I feel so fucking gigantic. Like I can take a piss and drown a whole planet. My name is Killer Reese, and the crazy shit, I walk around kinda believing that crazy shit. I'm into metaphysics, I mean I'm really with it. I got a demon's tongue, and I can be acidic. I'm the giant killer, bully brain spiller, Godzilla cat pillar, motherfucking real nigga. Catch me bailing in my dickies in my shade, smelling like 200 bucks, I am motherfucking paid. I play this game for my family and my friends, so I play this game rough because I play this game to win. In. Don't nobody move until Maurice get an order. Ask my nigga Jason how I get him across the border. It ain't a sucker bone in my body, my brother. I'm a cold ass nigga. I'm a gangster, motherfucker. We gon' dry this shit like we stole this shit. Put the pedal to the floor. We gon' roll this bitch. We flying. We throwing cars into the wind. We might not get this chance again. Yeah. So we gon' dry this bitch like we stole this bitch. with squares cause squares get bread and they ain't gonna do some shit to get you tossed in the feds it'll be them hood niggas that'll open their mouth and have you in some shit that you can't get out that shit is lame no doubt but that's the game no doubt and i'ma bring the pain i pout cause i'm a g not like a nigga that you see on tv but like a nigga that you see in the streets now walk with me Southern California is the turf I stomp But in hoods around the earth, nigga, I get comp Because I always keep it thorough Never been a bitch, never did some sucker shit In the name of getting rich And oh my mama, I'm so legit You won't find a fly nigga that is with this shit The killer on the race is a well-earned tag 15, I be the murder cause the case went bad 21, I be the murder cause the case went bad We gon' drive this shit like we stole this shit Put the pedal to the floor, we gon' roll this bitch, we flyin', we throwin' cars into the wind, we might not get this chance again, yeah, so we gon' drive this bitch like we stole this bitch, put the pedal to the floor, we gon' roll this shit, we flyin', we throwin' cars into the wind, cause we might not get this chance again, we flyin', 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 Flying.
So, um, this time the microphone will be working. Um, we are going to be speculating two teams, Team 10 and uh, a German team, because I really cannot be bothered to pronounce the whole team name uh, and everything else. Uh, as it stands, 10 players are on the server, and uh, we should be starting with the uh, we should be starting with the knife round pretty soon. Hopefully, the the players are going to stop, uh, are going to finish with the warm up um, pretty soon. So it seems that there are some uh, ready ass ready questions there. There we go. Have fun. Good luck. Blah blah blah. Knife. Yeah, they should really go for a knife round, honestly. Anyway, we are. I'm just gonna be switching straight over to the stream real fast, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, yeah, the game does not, the the stream does not auto s auto switch. Doesn't really matter. There we go. We are in the game, and uh, hopefully, the knife round will start pretty soon. If it doesn't, uh, I'm just gonna cry. There we go. Much match starting. Three restarts and knife. Yeah, I know they have to knife. Uh, there is some uh, Go TV chat going on in the game, as you can see, of course. So uh, let's see which team are gonna actually be taking the the knife round. Of course, uh, we have the team ten on the terrorist side and the German team on the counter terrorist side, as I'm just gonna call it. So hopefully, hopefully the knife round is uh, is gonna is gonna start pretty soon. Come on, guys, let's get this on the way. Rondo 64, um, and it doesn't see. Oh, okay. So, is this gonna be an eye front? No, it's not. There's nades coming out, just randomly. They just decided who who's gonna start on which side, I guess. I, I have no idea why. Or, uh, or, or, what was going through their heads. But, it doesn't seem that there's gonna be an eye front, honestly. So, um,. Um, so we are seeing that the terror is trying to get into this A bomb site, already trying to plan, but the CTs are there and ready. Getting a few, well, actually each team getting one kill, Hammock and Nilsson below 50% almost. Zodiac is gonna get dropped by Slider, and uh, it's looking pretty good for Team 10 as Sly gets another one for himself. Trying to get the third one onto Nilsson, but Nilsson's gonna deny that with a good hatchet. Hammer getting a kill himself. Getting a second one has to be careful for Asmo there, but Asmo is on fire here. He has to drop Nilsson if he wants to win there. And that's gonna be the first round of the match going in favor of Team 10. So, um... We should state that I'm not going to be calling the counter-terrorist side or uh, Havoc, Zodiac, Nielsen, in head and Hell. Uh, I'm not going to be calling them uh, by their uh, actual name, as Devonsky actually in chat uh, nicely uh, translated it for me on every... Yeah, um, uh, for I, I know wh what for means. Um, so yeah, um, I'm, it's just too long to be any kind of use. So the counter-terrorist against Team 10. Uh, just to be pretty fair. So uh, we are seeing a few good kills coming out for the terrorist side here. Sly and Straxinio, the last people on the terrorist side, trying to get into this A bomb site. They don't actually have the bomb, if I'm not mistaken. So the bomb has been... No, actually, he just picked it up. So it's all fine. Uh, he's gonna be trying to plan that, as I was saying. Uh, that he was going to plant it. Nope, Zodiac's still alive with 55 HP, and he's going to be trying to uh, disrupt Strux uh, from planting this. So uh, Strux is going to be smart about it and just go around, try to rotate, and a great headshot by Zodiac, knowing the Strux is going to be waiting there. Uh, very, very good pickup for him. Didn't look good, uh, honestly. I wasn't actually paying much attention to the time, but uh, Strux was making his way towards B bomb side and trying to plant, rotate, and uh, and then have the upper hand. But I guess he just realized that he's not going to be able to make it and try to get the drop onto onto Stru uh, onto uh, Zodiac there. So Zodiac already on four HP. Getting the kill though, so that's that's what matters honestly. Three versus five at the moment. Actually, we could discount Zodiac. So four versus three. Let's be fair, uh, in favor of the counter terrorists. But 
It does seem. Let Let's just see where the ter the terrorists are going. They're trying to get the B bomb, uh, the B push, but that's not a safe thing as uh, the B bomb site is pretty easy to defend. We are going to be seeing uh, Segelberg actually getting a nice. Uh, oh sh! That there goes uh, Mantis, and that's going to be Inhead picking up the kill. Chicago kid, the last man standing for Team Sand, trying to get out of this pincer from uh, both sides, being sieged by both sides by the members of the counter-terrorist side, and I don't think he's gonna be going anywhere as <laughs> there we see uh, try to wall bang a great headshot by that MP7 yet again from Zodiac, and that's gonna be a 2 1 scoreline in favor of the counter-terrorist side. A very, very good start. Um, I should mention, of course, that this is nothing like the match we've seen before. Uh, the match we've seen before was on the Nuke, and this is the Mirage, which is actually one of the most balanced maps in terms of wins for counter terrorists and terrorist sides. So, <laughs> tries uh, off an AWP coming from Zodiac, not actually doing anything as he just gets dropped by Sly, and that's gonna mean a 4 versus 3 situation as Zodiac and Hell already dropped on the CT side. Havoc going quite low, getting getting killed by the s from the side there by Strugs, and only Nilsson and he has remaining in and getting a nice kill onto Asmo, making it 2v2 and Shrugs is not too healthy but might actually get the drop onto uh, Nils uh, Inhead if he's not careful. Chicago ca coming from the side, trying to pincer down onto Inhead and uh, Shrugs just trying to bait something out. Let's see what the position is of everyone here as we are seeing Inhead going 1v1 against Chicago, dropping him instead. Nilsson and Inhead Defending this quite admirably, but the bomb might actually go down. The counter-terrorists are converging onto this A bomb site. Flash is coming in. The bomb has been planted, so this is Strasinho's game to lose. Nice nade coming through, getting quite a lot of ink down, but that's just gonna be Nilsson going for the kill, just rushing in and getting a jumping headshot actually with that M4. Very, very well played by uh, the counter-terrorist side. Um, as uh, or j let's just call them uh, at least once by their actual an actual translated name on every fucking Sunday. Um, so on every fucking Sunday, very very good play by them and uh, leading with t three to one. Again, we are seeing Chicago and the bombs with strikes trying to get on the B bomb site. The B bomb site is very very hard to. Uh, get into a great drop by Sly there, getting into the A bomb side, jumping over, trying to get the drop onto Hell, but not gonna m managing that. Asmo getting a nice kill with the pistol, but well, that's gonna be cut short. Inhead dropping Mantis, so three versus three, and uh, that's gonna be a three versus two in favor of the terrorist side. Are they gonna get any more? In Nilsson and Inhead are full health while everyone else is below 100% or even 50% health. Inhead making his way towards a bomb site. He knows that the terrorists are gonna be going there and he's just gonna get dropped by Chicago hit with a nice headshot. But Nilsson is going the same way, so he's either gonna get Chicago in the back or Chicago's gonna get turn and get another headshot for himself. Very, very well executed by the terrorists. Uh, Chicago just seems to have eyes on his uh, on his back, basically. Three, two, two in favor still of uh, the every fucking Sunday, but still, um, it seems that uh, um <laughs> it seems that Team Chan haven't thrown in the towel yet. Getting the first headshot of the game, trying to get to close through the uh, through the balcony, but he's just gonna get one shot by that eagle. Very nice shot from uh, I believe that was Nilsson there. Uh, but no, hell getting dropped and Zodiac and Nilsson the last two counter standing. Zodiac only on 53 HP. <laughs> Another good headshot by him, getting Shrugs down, and uh, still he's the last man standing. He only has the one nade, and actually. Oh, actually, he did pick up an AK, so nope, not gonna happen as Asmo just pops him off the planet. Um, yeah, um, just in terms of um, <laughs> just in terms of uh, the comments in the chat there, uh, 
if a player is not playing with his actual nickname, uh, I'm not gonna bother and think about uh, what hi what is his actual nickname uh, in the in the regular teams uh, because it's just <laughs> too much of a bother, honestly. And if they don't play with uh, actual nicknames, it doesn't really. It, it, there is no no point really, and uh, yeah, uh, only Germans play with eagles. We know that. Nilsson, the last man standing. This was the second eco round. It seems, although Nilsson does have an, uh, a max seven there. <laughs> Asmo headshotting Mantis. I have no idea what happened there. Uh, maybe he was just annoyed with something or uh, <laughs> something of the sort. But in the end, uh, Nilsson is gonna fall to. Um, a sly, and that's going to be a three to four scoreline in favor of uh, in favor of Team Ten. Uh, very even match so far. Uh, both of these teams seem to be constructed by uh, by players that actually play uh, in uh, in separate teams when they um, when they play bigger tournaments. But this is a rate call EMS one uh, qualifier nonetheless, so uh, it does pay to to be. Good at this. So Zodia getting the first kill of the round with it off on mid, and Nilsson getting the second with <laughs> with that Famas on strikes. So that's only leaves uh, Chicago Kid, Sly, and Mantis trying to make something happen. Well, Chicago is no more as Nilsson gets the second kill of the round uh, with that Famas headshot that time. Nilsson only on 30 HP left. So. Um, uh, he could actually go down, but only Sly and Mantis remain. <laughs> Sly with a nice drop and headshot onto Havok there. Um, is Hell actually gonna get anything done? Yes, he is with a nice headshot. Is he gonna get the second? Yes, he is as well. Mantis goes down, double kill for Hell. Very well played and 4-4-4. Four, four four. Whoever suggested that we spectate this game is def <laughs> was definitely onto something because um, in these early matchups, uh, it's hard to find a very even game to spectate, and this is definitely one of those. 44 is the scoreline between every fucking Sunday and uh, Team 10. Team 10 on the terrorist side, as you can see, they have the 10 tags, slash 10 tags, in their nickname, so... Oh! Upshot misses! Is he gonna get the other one? No, the second one misses as well, was just a blind one, hoping to get... Uh, hoping to get uh, hey, Hayrock to peak, I believe, but that's gonna be the first kill of the game going on to Zodiac with that up on the, on mid again. And uh, Sly trying to get the pick, not gonna happen. Hayrock getting the headshot and the better of Sly. Three versus five in head actually dropping finally as Asmo gets the, in the kill with the op. So uh, kind of equalizing it slowly. But still looking pretty good for every fucking Sunday as Hell gets another headshot onto Mantis, leaving Asmo and Chicago Kid to fend for themselves. They're n they don't seem too s too certain where they want to go. It seems that uh, Chicago is rotating towards A. Is he actually gonna get the plant off? That's the question now. Havok and uh, well, Havok's no more. Just as I was starting to talk about him. Uh, he just gets headshotted by Asmo, so Asmo doing quite a lot of uh, damage for his team. Has to be careful here and gets the third kill of the game with it up. A hat trick for him, uh, making it to 2v2 and equalizing the game quite nicely. Has to be careful though, as he is getting attacked from the back by Nielsen. So 1-2-1 one one now. Nielsen has the nade ready. He is most likely just gonna nade inside and hope to get the kill onto Asma. Asma only has 21 HP, has to be careful with the nades, but gets the op. Amazing play by Asma, clutching it. Four kills in a round and uh, actually getting the bomb plan, getting everything. Uh, actually ace as uh, as the comments. Uh, I wasn't even paying attention. He actually got an ace, so I only...